Hello and welcome to a brief video training tutorial on the master upgrade for the virtual decorator software from developer 3D. Okay, let's get started. Now as the overall intention of a master upgrade to the virtual decorator software is to allow advanced users to create their own building templates for use in the virtual decorator software, the logical place to begin any advanced training materials would be with the question, how do we get a copy of your plans, of your building ideas into the virtual decorator world? Now, we're going to position ourselves above this building slab to begin this discussion. You can see here we have a, a default startup world not consisting of the virtual decorator super room as you do uh, see in a standard or basic version of the tool but we have a, a more generic world here with a building base and this building base is where we're actually going to attach our um, floor plans. Now we're go not going to discuss the subject of navigation, how do we move in and around, how do we interact with our virtual decorator world in this advanced training materials. Personally, I feel that subject has been more than adequately covered in the introductory or basic materials that are made available to all users of the software. For anyone that wishes to review that material, um, there are a number of training videos available both online at developer3d.com and as well included on the installation CD of your software that was provided with you at your point of purchase. So let's take a top-down view using our view tool and click on this gray square that we see in the middle of our virtual decorator world. So let's click on the gray square and then in the bottom context sensitive toolbar, and this is a term I'll be using for the first time in our training materials, this is our context sensitive toolbar at the bottom of the page. You'll see there are a, a number of icons that all users of the virtual decorator software would be familiar with. Um, everyone will be familiar with, for example, the display object browser icon. This is um, the icon that allows us to display our library of three-dimensional um, objects that are able to be placed into our virtual decorator scene. Let's just shut that down. We've got a couple of compass and view control points here. And of course, everyone will be familiar with the display presentation layers dialog box, which let, lets us turn on various layers in the software. So for example, I can bring in multiple building bases and I will discuss that a little bit later in this training material. So let's close down that display presentation layers dialog box. What I'm interested in right now is the icon on the right hand side of that last um, tool and it's called the base floor plan tool. It's designed to visually look like a set of two-dimensional CAD plans emerging from a folder and when I run my mouse across the top of this icon a display box pops up that says base floor plan tool. So we need to click on this icon and you can see then a, a box appears in the middle of the screen that provides us with access to a folder literally anywhere on a computer. And you can save a copy of your plans, whatever it is that you wish to be the base point for your modeling process into literally any folder that you like on your computer. You simply need to logically remember what that folder is called and save a copy of your plans into that folder in any graphics file format. And what I mean by graphics file format is something like a JPEG, a PNG file, perhaps a bitmap, um, a TIFF or a GIF. Now I'm going to explore a couple of different images here. This particular one is called uh, pen and paper and you can see by the dialog box it's actually available as a somewhat tongue-in-cheek look at a pen and paper back of the cocktail napkin sketch. So when I click on my building base, go to my floor, floor plan base tool, and I select the set of plans, it automatically brings these plans and places them onto this gray building slab for us. 
And from this point forward, we can go through the process of initially scaling these plans to, to fit our world and then building up on top of these plans, creating a two-scale model. Now, I'm not going to use this particular pen and paper sketch today for our training materials. I simply place this on the scene so that people can see that if you take a, a pen and paper sketch and provide it is to scale, clearly the plans must be to scale, whether they're created in a professional plan drawing package or whether they're simple pen and paper sketch such as the ones that we're looking at now. The plans must be to scale in order to use them as a starting point, a base to build a two-scale model. So let's go and get the plans we're going to use today. Again, base floor plan tool. I'm going to choose these plans here, which is called the domestic house plan sample. Now, obviously, you can call them whatever you want to call them. And you can see this is a somewhat more traditional, two-dimensional black and white 2D plan drawing, very common um, as a construction or engineering document. So what we need to do then is once we've imported the plans, is we need to adjust or set the scale for these plans so that the objects that we introduce into our scene later in the building process, the objects that come from the virtual decorator library, come in and fit at the right scale. How do we use the scaling tool? We go to the next tool across and you can see as I roll my mouse across the tool, it's called the base scale tool and it says scalar floor base to real world units. So I click on the tool and then I click with my left mouse button at a known point anywhere on the plans and then basically drag my mouse across to the end of the known value and let it go. And a dialog box will pop up that says type the real world distance marked by the ruler. Now in the real world, this distance is actually 2740. So when I press scale, you can see that I've created a rescaling of the plans so that all of my objects library fit. Now I strongly recommend um, that when you go through this process that you actually do it two or three times. And all this does is just make sure that we've got the plans correctly to scale. You can see, for example, there's a big difference between the last scale I did. We're now three millimeters out. I am going to adjust that. So we've got kind of like a just a confirmation that the scaling has gone correctly, scaling process has gone correctly. So then what we're going to do is we're going to create a foundation or a building slab on top of our two-dimensional plans. And how we'll do that is we'll go to the next tool to the right-hand side of the ruler this time, and it's called the floor base foundation tool. So let's click on the floor base foundation tool, and we need to then locate a a point on our plan, anywhere will do, I'm going to click this point here, and I'll click once with my left hand mouse button. And this basically puts down an anchor point that allows me then to go up to the next point and you can see I'm going to go around the floor plan of this house and click with my left mouse button at each control point or each corner of the house where the plans change direction. So that's pretty much me tracing on the slab of the plans. Now when I get to the very last sector, as you can see as I roll my mouse across the starting point, the outline or the line drawing for my floor, floor base foundation changes from red to blue. And when it changes to blue, I can click once and that will close off the box for me. So you can see what I have now is I have a, a floor base that is traced around the exterior walls of my house, my building.